working on a construction site and I got fired for pinning the guard up. So I got frustrated and I came home and I made this thing. I just had to do something about it, you know? So I came here and I got my little box of, of uh, you know, parts and stuff, and, you know, and I make things. So I had a bunch of little pieces and I made this little linkage thing and this is what I came up with. With a nail, it makes it so the guard doesn't work. Most guys will pin it up like that to make these cuts. Well, this way with the saw guard dog, you don't have to, you can control it with your thumb. I was in, on a construction site where I witnessed a guy cut himself and he literally cut his hand almost completely off. I go really fast, I, I'm a really fast carpenter and it was his second day there on the job and he um, was trying to keep up with me and I felt kind of bad you know afterwards because he was, you know, it felt like it was like my fault because I was going really fast and, and this guy he uh, had his guard pinned up on his saw and he cut his hand off. <laughs> right there in front of me and I jammed over there and in between the you know in between the, the studs and got into his unit I took his hand and put it back where it goes and I held on to it and I held his hand up over his head till the you know paramedics showed up and uh, he lost all use of his hand except for these two fingers every time I picked up the saw I had you know I had that in the back of my mind that you know I got to really be careful cuz you know I'm my pin and saw it the same way he was, you know, and I watched it happen to somebody else. So, you know, it's once you see something like that, you it's in your head forever. You'll never go away. You can't erase it. The saw guard tog is, for the general public, is going to allow the operator to have his hands on the handles. And if your hands are on the handles, you can't cut them. And that's the idea. And in, it, for a regular person that uses a saw, just somebody who has one in their house, is just as you know, it's just as possible to, if not more possible for them to get hurt, you know, because they don't use the saw all the time, you know, every once in a while they get it out. It only takes once. I was trying to figure out a name for it, and my friend and I were trying to think of names for it, you know, and my dog was barking, he was barking at somebody or something like that, and I just, I said it out loud and it just stuck. That's how I came up with the name Saw Guard Dog. You know, and we used his face for the logo and just, you know, it all just kind of fell into place. With your help, we can save a lot of people from serious injury with a saw. And the idea is if your hands are on the handles, you can't cut them. Before the saw guard dog, you had to take your hand off of the handle and put it here next to the blade to lift the guard up. And you lift the guard up to see the line you're cutting. So this way, you can cut your finger off very easily. The saw guard dog, your hands are on the handle so you can't cut them and you can move the guard out of the way to see where you're cutting.